Hello and welcome. Did it occur to your mind and wondered what are the deadliest creatures in the world? In this video, you will see the most the top 10 deadliest creatures in the world, and I bet you that you did not know some of them. So fasten your seatbelts and let's go. The African Lion And we start last with the lion. I know some of you may be surprised, but believe me, there are creatures worse than him. Lions are known to be strong, fierce, and controllable animals. But behind this fierce appearance lies the fact that these big cats are social animals that live in close-knit groups known as cliques. The lion is often called the king of the forest, and although lions do not actually live in the forest, they are highly predatory animals of their natural habitat. This means that lions stabilize the numbers of herbivores, such as buffalo, wildebeests, and zebras. They also feed on the weakest members of the herd this keeps prey groups strong and healthy. Without lions, the numbers of herbivores could overgrow and feed on natural plant pastures, and this decimates the integrity of the ecosystem. Lions have been known to slash the tires of safari jeeps to immobilize them and the tourists inside. To ward them off, the guides play recordings of elephants trumpeting. Hunting them is still legal, but conservation makes it expensive, as it should, and only old specimens or man-eaters are taken. The two most infamous remain that save o mainless man-eaters of 1,898. From March to December, they killed and ate as many as 135 railway workers in Sabo, Kenya. They were gigantic even for lions, measuring 9 feet. 8 inches and 9 feet, 6 inches long, and required 8 men to carry them. Their hunter, called John Patterson, shot the second no less than 8 times with a .303 Lee Enfield, which has power comparable to the .3006 before the lion succumbed. The African Bush Elephant Yes, the elephant. I know some of you might say, the elephant is a gentle animal and does no harm to anyone. But in fact, it is in the zoo, not in the wild. In fact, the title king of the jungles is questionable. If the lion fights against the elephant, the winner is likely to be the elephant, so it's very rare for elephants to be attacked by predators. Why? Come and compare the difference where the elephant is superior in weight and height, and still speed is the only point that comes in favor of the lion. But in my opinion, I don't think it would be useful against the destructive power of the elephant. They are hyper-aggressive during must. Must is the bull elephant's reproductive hormones, mostly testosterone, all of which rise 60 times higher than normal. This makes the elephant want to mate with any cow it sees and fight everything else. Must causes the bull extreme irritation and puts him in a severely foul mood. It is during must that bulls have been known to charge through two direct hits from a .460 Weatherby Magnum ordinarily more than sufficient to drop one in its tracks, and trample a hunter to death, flip safari jeeps, and gore through chassis. Six-ton bulls have been witnessed flinging black rhinoceros 14 feet over their heads, kicking down four-foot-thick trees, and snapping anchor chains used to hold them. They are smart enough to angle their tusks into the chain links and pop them loose if they cannot overpower the iron. So, if you are thinking of visiting Africa, be careful and do not try something foolish, such as touching it to feel its skin or even approaching it. Sea Wasp Box Jellyfish Jellyfish are found in every sea and ocean in the world and have a simple to sharp sting. Some of them are toxic. A minor sting can also cause severe pain and excitement to the skin. Others do no harm to humans. But Chironex fleckery, also called the sea wasp, is by far the most notorious. The smallest species is only a few centimeters in size, but the largest species may exceed 6.3 feet, 180 cm, across with long tentacles proportional to its size. It generally feeds on fish eggs and larvae, as well as on other dwelling zooplankton, usually in summer due to abundant food, and is considered a food for some other organisms, such as sea turtles and a few species of fish. This species is very toxic. It can destroy untreated human life in three minutes. They are recorded off the coast of Australia and some parts of the world, and the toxicity of one individual is said to be sufficient to kill 60 adults. So when you're swimming in these areas, be careful or you never swim. The shark. I believe there can be no doubt that this creature 
is one of the most dangerous and deadly creatures in the world. All sharks have a superlative sense of smell to make up for their bad eyesight. Any species can smell a drop of blood in an Olympic swimming pool. They can smell a bleeding swimmer from five miles and with a single bite can tear off 31 pounds of flesh. In theory, sharks are always hungry and a 20-foot specimen can bite with 4,000 pounds of force, which is more powerful than the impact of a Dot 375H and H Magnum rifle round. The shark's most incredible, virtually X-Men ability is called electroreception. They have organs in their heads, called ampullae of Lorenzini. Every time any animal moves, it generates a very slight electrical field, and sharks can actually sense this electricity. Thus, a person treading water looks like lightning to a shark. A great white can detect half a billionth of a single volt. If it is within 100 meters, it can detect the voltage of your heartbeat. Cape Buffalo The Cape Buffalo is by far the most dangerous game animal on Earth. It is sufficiently thick-skinned to require an elephant rifle and is the animal most responsible for the introduction of double-barrel rifles. A double-barreled rifle offers the hunter an immediate follow-up shot to finish a wounded animal, and Cape Buffaloes can be counted on to withstand the first shot even if they are struck in the heart and still charge. The Dot 585 Nyati caliber was invented for use against this animal. Nyati is Swahili for Cape Buffalo. You may think touring Africa's grasslands in a safari jeep is safe, and were it not for the Cape Buffalo, you would be fairly correct. They may charge without any provocation at all, and they overturn jeeps, trucks, and vans by ramming them hit first. A 2000 LB male can run 40 miles an hour for more than 100 meters. Some professional hunting guides refuse to hunt them for fear the paying hunter will miss. The Cape Buffalo gores and tramples to death over 200 people every year, more kills, possibly, than any other African animal. The mosquito. The mosquito may have caused more deaths throughout history than any other creature. They're easy to kill but only after they've bitten you. Then you smack them in the face, but the damage has already been done. Normally, all that happens is that you itch for a short period of time. This is due to histamines in the mosquito's saliva, which irritate the skin. They are particularly harmful because they spread infectious diseases to humans and livestock, many of which are lethal if not treated. Malaria is the most well-known, and even with treatment, it can kill 20% of people in severe cases. In addition to the lethal diseases they carry, mosquitoes can kill on their own. They are feared throughout the Australian outback, just one more reason not to go there, and the southern Sahara, where shallow deluges provide them excellent breeding in the water. When the larvae hatch, they attack in swarms of over 1 billion insects, descending on cows and camels, and draining them of blood within 10 minutes. The Anaconda the green anaconda is the largest snake in the world, when both weight and length are considered. It can reach a length of 30 feet, 9 meters, and weigh up to 550 pounds, 227 kilograms. To picture how big that is, if about five 10-year-olds lie down head to foot, they'd be about the length of this huge snake. The green anaconda is a member of a family of snakes called constrictors. Constrictors are not venomous snakes. They don't kill prey by delivering venom through a bite. Instead, constrictors wrap their bodies around their prey and squeeze until it stops breathing. The giant snake opens its mouth wide enough to swallow its victim. Sometimes fish or caiman, relatives of crocodiles, and even jaguars and small deer. Anaconda jaws are held together with stretchy ligaments so they can open wide enough to swallow prey whole and it'd take about 11 kids to weigh as much as one anaconda. The Poison Dart Frog Poison dart frogs, members of the Dendrobatidae family, wear some of the most brilliant and beautiful colors on Earth. Depending on individual habitats, which extend from the tropical forests of Costa Rica to Brazil, their coloring can be yellow, gold, copper, red, green, blue, or black. Their elaborate designs and hues are deliberately ostentatious to ward off potential predators, a tactic called aposmatic coloration. Dendrobatids include some of the most toxic animals on Earth. The two-inch-long golden poison frog has enough poison to kill ten grown men. 
indigenous Imbura people of Colombia, have used its powerful poison for centuries to tip their bloven darts when hunting, hence the genus common name. The medical research community has been exploring possible medicinal uses for some poison dart frog poison. They have already developed a synthetic version of one compound that shows promise as a painkiller. Inland tapan. The inland tapan should not be mistaken with the coastal or central tapans, all of which are extremely venomous. The inland tapan, also known as the terrible snake, for its venom, the small-scaled snake, and the two-step snake, grows to a maximum length of 8.2 feet. They are incredibly shy and will always strive to avoid being in the presence of a large animal that only bite when they're surrounded. It is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. It can inject an average of 44 milligrams of venom per bite. The median lethal dose of its venom is 30 micrograms per kilogram, but it has never actually been known to kill a human. Its diet consists entirely of rodents, and it does not strike once and then wait for the prey to succumb. It bites up to eight times to hasten the process. The human in 200,000 years of the modern human species history, the only thing we've been able to do consistently well is kill each other. We are the only species that has ever existed on Earth to have attempted the elimination of entire species, and we are always getting better at it, always pushing scientific knowledge, and almost always one of the first things for which science is put to use is the invention of new methods of murder. We do it so well that we cannot even face ourselves, when we consider what it means to kill someone in combat, let alone how we justify it. We want to think of ourselves as predators, and we usually take joy in it. Nonetheless, in a fight to the death with most of the other entries on this list, the human would not stand a chance. But this simply encourages us to pick a conflict, and we do so using the one manner in which we are unrivaled is thinking. We are more than capable of defeating any organism on this list, if properly prepared, usually with guns.